Hello and welcome everybody to another player episode on the channel. This time around, I've got, as you can tell by the title of the video, a very, very, very special and rare Pitsy card from Benfica. Now just take a look at this card and it looks seriously incredible. And it is justified as to why it's kind of extinct, especially with such a low buy now max price. For 140k, I sniped him for 140k when he was going for 150. I don't know what his price is going to be as you're watching this video because price is definitely going to plummet after this video. I'm just not sure when or what it's going to plummet to. But just take a look at this card. 87, 90, 91, 92 dribbling, 67 defending on a center mid card. Not too shabby honestly and 80 physical. But let me just show you the time of random that I've built. For this episode, we've got... Joao Cancelo, the right back from Valencia. I don't really know him too much. I just had to use a right back and um, Ricardo Pereira and that type was extremely expensive as a team of the season card and I just don't have that coins right now as all my coins are in um, players as you see right there in the subs. In center back I've got Pepe. Pepe, a super solid Madrid defender, but I don't even think he played much this year. I honestly don't even think he played more than like four or five games. Honestly, he's a solid, solid center back, but I just think he's growing old, and especially that Varane is getting that experience he needed, and I believe he's just getting benched for Varane. In that, I've got Diego Lopez, informed Diego Lopez, that I believe he got against uh, his performance against Barcelona in a game. Not too sure, don't quote me on that, but I do think that's what he got it for. And then, the person I was talking to you about, Rafael Varane. Such an amazing young talent. I don't know if he's young anymore, once he born 1993, he's still very, very young for a center back that has extremely dived into the Real Madrid starting 11 at such a young age and honestly I think he's a solid solid center back in real life and I will I'm sure I'm certain that he's going to be one of the best center backs in the world soon enough and as left back once again another Portuguese from Real Madrid Fabio Coentrao I don't even think he played a single game at all this season and I believe he's this was his definitely his last season at Madrid I think he's being linked to other Portuguese clubs but I'm not too sure on that but I really think he needs to leave since Marcelo is just outshining him and performing so well recently. In defensive mid, I've got Renato Sanchez, the guy, the man of the hour at the Euros. He was so phenomenal at the Euros and then uh, Bayern Munich bought him for not too sure how much of a price honestly, but I think that move was extremely, extremely early, early for his age. At only 19 years of age, you're never going to get to play at Bayern Munich. Come on, man. You should have waited at least two or three years or went on loan from Bayern Munich just to get that experience because there's no way you're getting on that starting 11. And then as a left midfielder, I've got Rafael Guerrero. I've pack pulled team of the season, Rafael Guerrero. I believe he's a left back, but this card is a left mid, which kind of sucks because he's honestly got solid, solid defensive stats that I like on in my left backs. High dribbling. Decent defending, but not that great of a physical. But as you can see, first owner, zero games played. Can't wait to try him out. As striker, I've got a center forward type. Wants to watch Juarez. Probably slaughtered his name, not too sure. But honestly, once again, a very young player. I believe he's 20, yeah, he's 20 years of age around there. But I think he definitely moved a bit too early also to PSG and I don't think he's gonna be there for much longer, especially with Cavani shining so well this year I don't think he's gonna get any playing time anytime soon right mid I've got Andre Gomes one of my dislikes players in real life I'm not I just don't think he fits the squad I just don't think he's up to that caliber as of yet but he got this in form for um, I believe a goal and two assists in a game just sucks that it's a right mid card but it's kind of fortunate that I can use him in this squad as a Portuguese link. But if it was midfield, if it was center mid or center attacking mid card, it would have been miles, miles more expensive. And yeah. And then finally, before I get to the main guy, I've got Manuel Fernandez, man of the match card. This card looks absolutely phenomenal. Honestly, for an 85 rated card, 83 pace, 83 shooting, 87 passing. 
I don't know why I'm using my defensive midfielder. I just am because I just needed that Portuguese link. But I don't think he'll do that bad there. He's not that short. He's all right in the height. But we'll definitely make him work. And then right there, Luis, Miguel, and Fonzo Fernandez. Also known as Pizzi. The man of the hour. The man of this episode. Just take a look at this beautiful card. It looks so nice. 89 rated with almost... 90 base stat on everything that you need on a cam and that's where I'm going to be playing him as you see right there Everyone's almost on 9 cam which kind of sucks but I just didn't need to I just didn't have the money or the coins to uh, change every position to their favorite position because I'm honestly kind of broke I think I've got like 200 coins or like 2000 coins in my uh, account so I'm just about to my all my coins are liquid liquidated as investments but yeah for chemistry reasons, I've got Jose Mourinho as a Portuguese manager just to give them that boost, but I honestly don't tell much of a difference between 9 and 10 chem. Now that you've seen the squad in a 4-2-3-1 formation wide, let's hop into our first game and see what damage Pizzi can do in his first debut game for me. For the first opponent of the day, wow, we have got a very, very nice and solid team. 90 Lacazette, 89 Mertens, SPC Al Sharawi, 9 Golan, that one scares me. Oh my god, that team is so solid. Costas Manolas, Inform, and Koulibaly. I'm not sure who is in net, but let's see what damage we can do to this guy. Oh, baby. Ah. Of course, this guy pauses the game to change his formation, but let's see his in-game stats. 82 aggression, not bad. 92 attack position, that's very high. 91 vision, that's extremely high. 90 acceleration, that's going to come in handy as a cam, definitely. 83 sprint speed, on a bit on the lower side, but I think we'll do. 89 stamina, that's decent. 90 ball control, 89 crossing. I'm not going to really cross with him. 96 curve, that's nice from outside the box. 92 dribbling, I like that. Very, very solid long passing stats and long shots. And yeah, let's see what we can do to this guy. Good pass, getting it forward. Okay. He's very, very solid on the ball. Just the L2R2. Oh, that's what he's up on. He's up on Pogba. First shot, first shot, first shot. Oh. I just needed a bit more power, I think. But. I wasn't too bad. Oh no. No, 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 no. Nice. That was a pretty bad shot by him, honestly. He could have definitely done better. No. Attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Deco Lopez. Nice solid save. My heart literally just stopped. Can I see that replay? Oh my god. That was inches off. Ten shots for him. Ten shots. I'm getting dominant. I need to change this formation right now because I am not getting anything with anyone up front. Oh, that's game. That's game. That's gotta be game. Ah, man. There's absolutely nothing. I couldn't even, like, that cooler volley was so solid. That, this guy was very, very, very good. I couldn't score anything. I couldn't even put a chance. Let's see what we can do in the second game. Okay, for the second opponent of the day, we've got a five at the back, full Juventus squad. Oh man, wow. It's the second time in a row in a two videos right away where I get the three twins at the back. Bonucci, Chiellini. Wow, that is a solid, solid team. Let's see what Pizzi can do against this one. Now since the last game, I seriously could not even get anything in a 4-2-3-1 formation. I'm just going to switch it into a 4-1-2-1-2 and from the beginning and see what we can do. Pushing Guerrero up front, even though I know that's not ideal, but 
I just don't think 4 2 3 one's going to cut it with a very, very small striker. Pitsy. 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 Oh my god, the amount of dip on that at the very end. Long shot. Pitsy. Wow. Wow, that long shot was nice. Pitsy. Yes, Pitsy. Is that a goal? That's a goal. That's a goal. That's a tuck in by Guerrero. What a goal. What an assist. What a dribble by Pitsy. Wow. Oh, come on, EA. Show that replay. That was so nice. That his dribble is so incredibly smooth. Honestly, like I can't stress it enough. That 92 dribbling is so so smooth. That would have been such a nice play. Oh, is that it? Wow, I screwed that up. I accidentally pressed screw turn instead of fake shot. Pitsy. I have absolutely nothing to comment onto that. Wow is all I can say. Look at that. How did he even hit that with his right foot? Quality goal. Quality goal by him. Wow, I was literally just at his box and now he's on a 1v1. Now what a save by Cointreau! What a legendary save by Cointreau! Wow! First half, I've absolutely dominated him. More possession, slightly more possession. Seven shots on target, five. Seven shots total, five on target. But I just want a bit more from Pitsy, so let's, let's see what we can do second half. I will definitely be taking on Fuedes and putting on that 19 Mertens. Just to get that explosive speed past the defense. Because that three at the back is pretty tough to break. No, that's terrible defense by me. No, that's a goal. That's got it. Wow, that's not this. Either way, this is definitely what I'm about to be seeing from this guard. For 140k, he's very, very worth it so far. Let's see what it can do in this final third and last game of the episode. Alright, finally we find a match for the final episode, for the final game of the episode. And oh my god. Oh my god, what a team man, wow let's see what Pitsy can do against this team, I'm not even going to list it off because it's practically just team of the season, BPL, with the exception of Sun and Chan and Courtois, I'm going to count that Hazard as the team of the season, wow. Definitely going to be switching in to another 4-1-2-1-2 because he definitely did so much better than playing in a 4-2-3-1, and yeah. Hopefully, we can break this guy down because that team is extremely solid. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. How did my Cohen Tarot just Good outrun play. his 94 They've Hazard? The ball to his mate and got it back again. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Play on, says the referee. What is happening? Free kick against Kepe. Well, that's risky going in like that. Look at this, look at that. What just happened there? What's this? What's this? Pitsy. Finish that. What a solid finish by Pitsy. Let's go. Wow. He's so good. His movement is so good. I love it. He's always trying to find space around the defense. Look at this. Look at this. Look at him running right there. It's beautiful. Beautiful finish by him. One nothing. Let's go. Let's see if we can finish this guy off. What a solid first half. Honestly, I had one shot, one goal. I definitely feel like I had more than that. But definitely possession. I agree with that. Oh man, he's solid. He's a very, very, very solid player. I just need more chances in and around his box. I just can't find the time with him. He closes down so quickly. Let's see what we can do second half when I sub on Mertens. Yes. Attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get Pitsy. caught out. Oh man, that's kind of a bummer. That Emre Chan is his entire, entire midfield. Oh, that's two nothing. Ah, oh, it's one one. Why do you slow down? That's a goal, isn't it? That's a goal, isn't it? 
That's a goal, isn't it? Oh, on goal. Who scored that on goal? Why are you shushing, man? I'm genuinely getting annoyed. Why is he shushing? Ah, uh, two goals so quickly right after each other. A goal? Oh my god, Pizzi score that! What is happening? Thank you! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we got like two seconds to make something happen. But he's been an asshole ever since he scored that second goal. He's just held on to the ball. Oh man, I don't know how he scored three goals in like ten minutes. As I said, better team and I am confident he would be such a solid cam right behind a front two or even a 4-3-3-4 as a cam behind three wingers or three at the front he would be so solid he was super fun to use well guys that's a wrap for today's episode on team this season Pitsy if you liked that video please hit that thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe for more content till next time peace Da 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 da